Hello YouTube and Rec Room and fellow staff members coming from Rec Room. Um, this is another video of me being banned, but this isn't me going on about uh, how I got banned in such a way. If you, if you were to go to my last video, if you haven't, um, just click on my uh, YouTube channel and you'll see that I released it about a day ago, a day or two, whatever this video will be up. Um, and so on, I explain on to how I got banned and to how they would need to slow down their banning system. But I'm going to talk a little bit about that uh, today in this video. This video is not going to be very long. I'm going to try to cut it as short as I can um, just for you guys to understand how the banning system works and to why you would get banned and how you got banned and what is the meaning all behind it. So. Um, first I want to talk about on how the banning system is going to work and how it does work. So, just yesterday I read the code of conduct on the full page. Um, on the rec.net page it, it'll tell you about the, the legitimate rules um, of what you need to look after and what you would need to avoid coming across other people or whatever it is. Um, how I'm banned, I can understand to why I'm banned now. In the last video I mentioned the harassing part, I didn't harass. The threatening, yes I did. So, and then it even said if you are banned, they, they will give you a list, like a three, three things of listings to what and how and why you could be banned but it's not a hundred percent so as you can see it says inappropriate name bio or profile photo it does not mean I've gotten banned or you have gotten banned for that that is just a listing of what could have happened or what has happened of them overriding your account and seeing what the process was or what has happened with you and that person you in between that person of coming into an argument or whatever it is so if you guys see this exact band that you have or maybe a little different if it involves an appropriate name bio profile photo don't worry they're not going to get rid of your name your bio or your profile photo if you read um the code of conduct on rec room if you go to look at the bottom it says um please contact us at recroom.happyfox.com. Don't actually contact them. That is only within if you want a ban appeal or whatever. And if you're looking forward to try getting unbanned while well, you can, that's the only way. But for extra information that you want to see on how the rules are laid out, go to recroom.happyfox.com. And if you're like, you know, I, me, I was extremely worried about my ban until I really read. I even said in the last video, like, I don't understand it, but I do at the same time. And I did a little bit of research earlier on today, and I'm like, okay, everything makes sense to why I've gotten banned. And why, you know, to why they could have denied your appeal, the ban appeal. And... I am now accepting my ban and I understand to why I deserve my time out on rec room within the 20 days and 6 hours 7 minutes and uh, 6 seconds. I don't find it too much of a big deal anymore. I find it very understandable. But I had a couple friends saying that they also got banned because I have three of my friends uh, rec room accounts on my PlayStation here. Um, they have gotten banned for 20 days as well. Like this, the the same, the day, the hours, the minutes, and the seconds. They all, they, them three have the exact same. One of my friends there, not happy. My other friend, she has, she was wondering, going on about like, I'm banned. Like, what do I do? I told her. I'm in a progress of getting her, um, getting in a progress of getting your account unbanned if not because I if I can remember that's what the ban appeal is also for you would need to contact recroom.happyfox.com 
And what you need to do is fill out an, uh, not an, I don't know if it's an application, I cannot remember, but there's a title and then you fill it out and explain to them like, um, why and how, why and how you're banned. And if it's a related account, it'll say, um, if you see where my pointer is here, um, somewhere or underneath this, it'll say related account to the user's name at the at from your rec room. And you, you want to say that, okay, I've been banned from this related account and I'm wondering if I can get, um, unbanned, but only keep, keep it to where he's banned or whatever. You need to explain to them with the related account that how you gotten banned. Um, they will look over the account and they will not have you banned. Um, so if you have any of your friends that are, that you have your account or have their account on your PlayStation and on Rec Room, just tell them to go on recroom.happyfox.com if you got banned and tell them to do that, fill out the application. And then at most it should be good to go and then hopefully by the end you'll be able to get unbanned um i'm gonna say is now just keep the code of conduct Dick. you guys need to be extremely careful their banning system they take it extremely serious they they will ban for certain re reasons there'll be little reasons that they can ban you for but if it's a little reason they'll only ban you for like an hour at most i believe or if it's somewhat of a big deal, like it's a small medium in between, they'll ban you for a week or so. Um, if it's somewhat of a bigger deal in between the medium and the big, they'll ban you for a month like how I did, or like how they banned me. Um, just be sure to follow the code of conduct. Um, all I'm gonna, that's pretty much all I'm gonna say, just be sure to not fight with any admins if they tell you one thing don't make a huge argument about it because they're you know they get strict with the banning system they bring in a bunch of reports um you know just help them out a bit don't just don't do any of that because it could lead to a longer ban than what i have like it says next ban may be one year or permanent so I also want to apologize to Rec Room. I want to apologize to the moderator that I've threatened to and um, how I would was threatening to ban him and everything, but it wasn't going to do anything to him or nothing. Um, I want to make an extreme sorry to the staff mainly for what I have done that was wrong. Because after I t did a big research on it, I realized to what I have done wrong. And they don't give you the exact reason to why you get banned. But that's something that you need to figure out and learn to what you have done. Um, don't take it as, as a big, big deal when you get banned. It's only a timeout just for you to learn to what you have done. And then, you know, just to be sure that you don't do it the next time. Most people won't learn from their ban but mainly 75% 70, of the community does. Like, you know, I've already learned, but I'm gonna have to wait, you know? It sucks. I miss Rec Room, I love it. It's one of my favorite places to socialize, you know, it's even better with the VR experience. But I don't sit in my dorm and look after this ban of, I play other games, you know, I wait, I, you know, I'll just wait while I can. I'm not fighting over it. But this video is just over about how you should be careful and how the banning system works. Um, that's basically all I gotta say for now. Um, this is, will be a part two. Um, I'm not sure if there'll be another video out for part three. Um, I said my sorries, I said what I have done wrong from my last video, go check that out. Um, during this COVID stuff, I want you guys to be safe, be careful, don't catch it. Um, stay in if any needed, by any means necessary. 
Um, stay safe.